Hi, this is Sarah Blake and I am the US correspondent for News Corp Australia. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why we may not know a result of today's election for some time. Biden is not a competent person, in my opinion, would destroy this country and would destroy this economy. The first reason is, of course, the coronavirus, which has changed how Americans are voting. A record number have already cast their ballots, millions, and some of those votes, because the states run the voting process, won't even start to be counted until poll day. I think the virus has been extremely politicated. It, is, it has been used to lock down this country, which yeah. is what will happen if Joe Biden is re-elected. Some of those states are the crucial swing states, such as Pennsylvania. So if it's a tight race, we could be waiting for days. He left. He abandoned Pennsylvania. He abandoned Scranton. Given how rancorous this has all been, there's also a chance that one of the candidates declares themselves the victor, despite the other not conceding. There's also the possibility for legal challenges. Back in 2000, the federal election between Al Gore and George Bush wasn't decided for 37 days. And it all came down to a recount in one Florida county of 537 votes. Pundits here say we can expect up to a dozen Floridas. So we've also got that to look forward to. And thank you to Florida, we love Florida. The other thing that could also happen is that there could be a tie. To win the election, a president has to win 270 electoral college votes. There's also the possibility that they could win 269 each, and that would spark off a whole round of procedural events in Congress, votes that would be determined in December and January. But if the result is not settled by January 20, then under the Constitution, the presidency ends. So if that's the case, there's even the very remote possibility that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi could find herself voted as president. It all sounds very unlikely, but as we've come to learn in 2020, absolutely anything is possible. He'll do anything to distract us from focusing on his failures to deal with this virus and to protect the nation.